Well, hello again. I'm uh, here at the raised garden beds, um, just watering our cucumber plants, um, as you can see. These uh, raised garden beds we built by hand. Uh, we just took some, uh, uh, we went down to the lumber mill and uh, picked up some of these uh, boards that people did not want anymore. Uh, these are just, you know, the outsides of trees that they cut down. Uh, people in Brazil really don't like them, so they work perfect for us because, you know, they're nice and rustic. And we do love rustic. And then, as you can see, the the dirt actually is uh, basically composted uh, wood chips that were entirely too old for them. Mixed with uh, cow poop and horse poop, goat poop and chicken poop, all types of different uh, organic manures mixed together. Composted for a very long time and uh, just mixed in with uh, with the wood chip compost mixture and we got dump truck load after dump tr truck load of it for about uh, seventy dollars a dump truck load which was really nice it took us uh, two dump truck loads to uh, fill all these beds these beds are uh, there's only three of them technically like two and a half uh, they're about oh I'd say a good 30 foot long and uh, anywhere between three to four foot deep so it's nice perfect level so you don't have to bend over when picking weeds or picking the harvest um, a couple things that I would like to say about this is uh, this is my uh, first time with uh, raised beds these are pine wood raised beds so from what I've heard that pine wood will only last about 10 years or so and that I should have used cedar but you know in all reality 10 years is a long time and uh, you know I don't think uh, I made a bad decision because I got it for such a really cheap price uh, one thing I would I do wish that I could put in and I think I will put in is some type of automatic watering system now because it rains a lot here in the mountains where I live in Brazil um, you know I don't want this wood to rot out any faster than it would so I need to figure out the best system for um, for watering it without damaging the wood more than you know nature already will. So, so I'm thinking some type of drip line uh, being hung above it. I need to uh, figure out the cost and what materials I have laying around um, because we are doing this on a budget. Um, you know, in the future it'll be awesome. But so this is our first experiment with raised beds. I you know think they're beautiful. Uh, everything came right from the farm which was beautiful and we just kind of put it together it took us about a week to build all of this using the materials that we could find and if this thing goes well I'm pretty sure we're gonna build a lot more I think I want about 10 more put up but I need to figure out a better watering system because you know I'm a, I'm a pretty busy guy I don't have time to be out here watering my gardens every day for two hours um, so I'm pretty sure I can figure something out and I will and then I'll build a lot more so I got cucumbers right here I got some different lettuce up there a whole bed of lettuce right here that's all babies I got broccoli I got some type of red salad I got uh, green peppers and I got different teas towards the end of it these were just experimenting with all the different things we can grow and then like I said in about six months to a year once things uh, normalize around here and I build more beds I'm gonna have one bed per each vegetable that we grow um, because Busher's Farm is uh, selling our produce we sell eggs we sell meat and we sell vegetables 100% organic I want to thank you for uh, liking this Facebook page liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel uh, if you have any comments questions or advice for us Feel free to put them in the comments below or even just contact us. We love talking to different homesteaders, preppers, and farmers around the world. Good luck with your homestead and God bless.